Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to solve a system equation with infinitely many solutions. In this case, the system equation is 1x plus 2y plus 3z plus 4w equal to minus 1 and 2x plus 3y plus 4z plus 5w equal to 2 and 3x plus 4y plus 5z plus 6w equal to 5. Now to do this, we are going to do row operation. First of all, we write the augmented matrix first. This consists of the matrix on the left hand side and right hand side, the column minus 1, 2 and 5. Then we do the row operation. We have a leading one in the first row, first column. So I want to make the entry below it zero. So I can take minus two times the first row and add to the second row. And also minus three times the first row and add to the third row. So I get a new metric now. One, two, three, four, minus one. Zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, four and 0, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, 8. Then, what I can do is second row times minus 1. Then the second row becomes 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 4. After I have a leading one in the first row and second row, now I want to make the entry below leading one zero and above leading one zero. So I can do some more row operation. So I take the second row times 2 and add to the third row to create a 0 below leading 1 and second row times minus 2 add to the first row I create a 0 above leading 1 so I eventually got a metric 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, 7 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 4 and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 on the last row this is the row reduced epsilon form we can also know the solution now. Under the column, you have x, y, z, w. So we notice that x and y has a leading one associated with it. Z and w do not have leading one. Therefore, z and w are free. And the equation tells us, the equation tells us that first equation tells x minus z minus 2w equals 7. Second equation tells us y plus 2z plus 3w equal to minus 4. So if you rewrite them, you can find that x equal to z plus 2w plus 7, y equal to minus 2z minus 3w minus 4, and z and w are free. So z is equal to z, w equal to w. Now because z and w are free, let's give them some symbol here. Let's call z equal to lambda 1, w equal to lambda 2. They are free. So this will be z x equal to lambda 1 plus 2 lambda 2 plus 7 and y equal to minus 2 lambda 1 and minus 3 lambda 2 minus 4 and this will be the solution set where lambda 1 lambda 2 are any real number so I have a class pack let me launch a class pack here so I have opened up a keyboard here already. So let me enter the equation. Press here. Now you have two equations, two unknown. Press one more time. Three equation, three unknown. Now for this class pack, which is an earlier version, I need to have four equation, four unknown. I'll show you how to overcome this. So I entered. First I get x plus 2y plus 3z plus 4w equal to minus 1 for the first equation 
And the second equation, I got 2x plus 3y plus 4z plus 5w equal to 2. And the third equation is 3x plus 4y plus 5z plus 6w equal to 5. Now the last equation I'm going to give is 3, which is 0 times x plus 0 times y plus 0 times z, we know it's 0. So I actually have not add extra new equation. Now I want to solve for x, y, z, and w. I press execute. So it tells me that x equal to z plus 2w plus 7, y equal to minus 2, z minus 3w minus 4, z is z, w is w, which is 3. And this is exactly the solution I obtained just now. If you look at the solution, this is what I have obtained just now. So this is the end of the recording.